trailer for GTA 6 is finally here and it looks insane. And it's got me thinking, we've never talked about the music from the Grand Theft Auto franchise on this channel. And the simple reason for that is that there kind of isn't any, which isn't entirely true. But as of Grand Theft Auto 3, they began using a kind of brilliant model where the majority of the music in the game was actually licensed real world modern mainstream music delivered in the form of radio stations complete with their own hosts and their own commercial. Running your own prison is easy. But the one thing that the GTA games have always had is theme music. And in this video, I wanna talk about some that maybe are the most iconic, as well as some that you may have forgotten or maybe didn't even know existed. To start this off, let's go all the way back to 1997, when GTA looked like this. Yeah, so the very first GTA theme, honestly, you know, it's it's perfect 90s video game theme music. It's really simple, it's just B minor, and then a G major chord, and then what we can only assume is probably a, like an F sharp major chord. Not much to it. It's so, so, so 90s. And while I guess probably the correct answer to which theme is the best might be the one that you are the most nostalgic for, which is a totally valid answer. Personally, this one for me isn't necessarily the most notable, but it's obviously an extremely important one because this kicked off the entire franchise, leading us to... Sound shaking, earthquake I still don't know where one is. That was not where I was expecting it to be. Okay, yeah, I, when this started, I had no idea like where the one was gonna drop, but because we have this, um, uh, uh, let's see. yeah, that thing right there. So it's like before you have the context of where the drums drop in, you don't actually know where that's gonna be. But where it ends up being is like one, two, three, and one, two, three, four, one, Two, that's cool. Three, four, one, two, that's pretty sick. It kind of lands on the end of four. Nice little syncopation device. And then if that wasn't already a sort of move in the jazz direction, check out GTA 3. <laughs> All we're really doing is, because we're kind of staying in this G sort of area. And all we're really doing is we're taking a single shape like that and we're moving it around. But you can see how the shape kind of stays the same. So in this case, that's actually just a C major chord, but it's a second inversion C major. Root position, first inversion, second inversion. But we put it over this G, which gives it kind of a different feel. And it only sits there for a second before landing here. This is kind of the main chord we're working with, which if we look at what notes these are and we condense them down into a single octave, take that, move it down here and take that, move it down there, we simply have a G minor seven chord. So this is a really cool way to voice a G minor seven chord because you can see all we've done is we put a G on the bottom, but then look at this. Look at that shape, right? What is that shape? It's just a B flat major chord. So if you put a B flat major chord over a G, you get a G minor seven. Really easy way to come up with some cool ways to voice different chords. <laughs> Vice City, this is another one that's like, how iconic is Vice City in comparison to some of the other ones? I don't know. For some people, this is gonna be the game maybe they grew up with the most. It's really simple at its basis. It's just, we have this kind of E sound. It's kind of undefined. I gotta assume it's minor. And then a G major chord and a D major chord, and that's kind of it. 
Now it's gonna sit here. Yeah, it just sits here. And then we get like all this instrumentation coming in. The saxophone. <laughs> Going hard too. I mean, it's a great little theme, you know? I just don't know how memorable this one is, especially in comparison to some of the themes that came after it. Like... <laughs> oh man, this is such a good one. Check out that bass line, right? Oof, it's, it's so, so simple. It's G, D, F, G, that's it. The simplicity and just like the smoothness with which it's played, I just, it creates such an insane groove. I don't know what it is about this tune, but apparently a lot of people feel the same way because you see this one all over the place in memes and all kinds of stuff. It's just a great track and a great theme from San Andreas. Listen to this. <laughs> that bass line is so nasty. It adds a little A flat before it starts over again. Woo! <laughs> this has got to be high on the list of the most iconic because I feel like this is one of the most memorable for a lot of people. And this game came out in 2004. Now it seems so far away and so different from the original 1997 GTA. But in reality, that was only seven years ago. Which, <laughs> the difference between GTA 5 and 6 Oh no. We went one, two, three, Vice City, San Andreas, and then there were like mini games in between. In a span of seven years, and now here we are just having gotten the GTA 6 trailer, which isn't even gonna come out until 2025. But that brings us to perhaps maybe the most I I don't know. Ugh, see, I, I don't wanna speak in such absolutes, but like, come on. You know why? Because listen to this, listen to this. This is the first theme that was set up like a cinematic theme, an introduction to a movie. I mean, the storyline of Grand Theft Auto 4 was just phenomenal. The opening, I still remember the opening of this game. You felt like you were entering into a literal movie and that is what the theme sounds like. Now, in comparison to all the themes that came before it, this is really the first one that has that sort of cinematic quality to it. The rest of them were all just basically tunes. Some of them, you know, more beat oriented, some of them even like jazz oriented, but this, this is the first one that feels like the intro to a film. There are changes here. This is like complex. <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Then it does this little thing with the bass line. Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> Yikes! But then this one also goes places. Where when we started, we just simply had this over C minor. But then while we keep this motif going on, we start changing the harmony. It's just, it's an absolutely sick theme. GTA 4, I mean, this has gotta be the most iconic theme, no? I feel like it's gotta be, and I feel like part of the reason that it has to be is because it was that first theme that really felt like a cinematic theme in the same way that a movie score often has its own theme. Whereas the themes that came before it were very song-like, you know, more beat kind of oriented, I suppose. We had a lot of hip hop influence in most of them and that worked incredibly well as demonstrated with something like San Andreas, which is still timeless and definitely competes for one of those top spots of the most iconic GTA theme of all time. But something about Grand Theft Auto 4, it was just different. You know, I'm gonna be honest here. This is such a great theme, 
You know, it's really cool and everything. It kind of goes back a little bit to the sort of roots of GTA themes and kind of leaves that more cinematic approach that GTA 4 used. This one for me, and trust me, I've got literally like hundreds of hours, which I know isn't a lot for some people, but I've got hundreds of hours in GTA 4 and GTA 5. And GTA 5, I never, like if you had asked me what the theme was for GTA 5, I would not have been able to remember this. Because again, as with so many of the GTA games, the music really is not an integral part as far as the original music is concerned and that's because the format of most of the GTA games since GTA 3 has been real life music playing on the radio within the game. It's sort of a very unique approach to video game music. And it makes it so that we don't really think of the original soundtrack in the same way that we do for some other games. One of the reasons I've never covered GTA is because every time I think about it, I'm kind of like, what do you mean? It doesn't really, it doesn't have music. And although they definitely do, and there are lots of composers that have worked on creating original music for the GTA games throughout the years, the use of licensed real life mainstream music has always been kind of a staple of the GTA style. But the themes are definitely the exception to that rule. And if I had to pick and say, which of these is the most iconic? I gotta give it to GTA 4. That's the winner for me, but I wanna know what the winner is for you. What's the most iconic theme for you from all of the Grand Theft Auto games? And all of the stuff that I'm doing to kind of analyze all the things that we talk about on this channel, it all utilizes piano and music theory skills that I teach in my library of courses, which is currently available for over 70% off as part of our holiday sale now through the end of the year. If you've ever wanted to get started playing the piano and you just didn't really know where to start, now is your chance to pick up the entire library of courses. There are eight courses courses in total, and it'll take you from having never touched this keyboard before, or if you just have a little bit of experience as a beginner, or maybe you took lessons a long time ago, it'll refresh your memory and it'll take you from the very beginning all the way up to doing things that you never thought you'd be able to do on the piano. There is a ton more information about the sale and about all of the courses included in the bundle at the link in the description below. And if you enjoy the content on this channel, that's how I support what I do here. Instead of taking sponsorships from companies that you may not care about and I may not care about, I figured I would just make something that is directly from me that is incredible incredibly useful and helpful for you. And that is how the courses were born. And again, right now you can get the whole thing for over 70% off. It's part of our holiday sale. It's available now through the end of the year. So use that link in the description to find out more. And that's the best way you can support the channel. And I'm so grateful for your support. So thank you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Let me know your thoughts on all of the GTA themes in the comments down below. Let me know which one is your favorite and we will see you in the next video.